Hi, uh, this is Srinivas Tamara, founder of Nihilism.info. This video is about like how to implement lazy loading in Ionic. So I posted a few articles on uh, nine lessons like uh, how to create a welcome and login and login authentication. You will see the uh, related videos like mostly about Ionic, but everything I like, it is like a base I haven't implemented with uh, lazy loading. So Ionic 3 came up with a lazy loading concept so let's create quickly and uh, hope try to update your ionic and uh, make sure ionic version should be three point plus so now i'm just creating a project like ionic start uh, lazy ionic and tabs it comes with a tabs component and uh, you it'll ask few questions like you want to make it for native so make it yes and then it'll take some time to install all the dependencies. Yep, uh, this case, like if you want to connect with Ionic Pro, you just give S. If not, just give no. And yeah, now project has been created. Now just go to the project directory. And if you see all the files has been created, let me open this with my visual code. So this is a base project, like uh, it comes with the pages like home and uh, contact and above. And if you see this, this is not a lazy loading project because everything like included in the app page, once you launch the app, it'll all the pages it will load. So sometimes some pages you don't require it. So that actually kills your memory. So the lazy loading, like it will improve whenever you want some components, you can uh, use it like. So let's quickly change it uh, before that. So uh, we are not going to Im import any pages here so i'm going to delete off all these pages and uh, declaratives declarations as well and uh, entry components except the my app so if you see this project will not run so i'm going to delete this so once you delete this and if you create it again it will come with a new ionic home uh, page like ionic g for generate page home so if you see this it will create some yeah again it got created the home and it comes with a module so this actually comes with like ionic page module and if you see uh, home.ts it comes with ionic page if you compare others this general component it's not uh, it's not ionic module so this ionic module like it helps you to lazy load Okay, let's, uh, uh, we don't have tabs for this because tabs page is a little different. If you want, you can delete it and uh, create it. Instead of that, like I'm just copying it and pasting it here. If you have any existing pages, you just do the same. Like, otherwise you can, if you have a new project, like just uh, do it this way. I'm just changing to tabs module and you have to rename everything like tabs and this is tabs tabs and it comes from the tabs and the thing is like if you see the home.ts you have to import the ionic page and go to the uh, tabs com, tabs tabs.ts and import that function as well and uh, we see that exactly the same make sure you save all the stuff and I think you have to import this from the ionic angular just go to the tabs and uh, like ionic page we are not going to use anything so yeah now it's done we are not going to use anything here because i'm going to drop off other two as well so let me drop off and uh, about as well so let me quickly create those uh, pages as well like contact and about yep so instead of these things like you're going to use as a string because ionic load page will understand like you can just simply 
uh, make it in a double quotes in the same way we change the tabs as well so tabs is actually in the app module so try to change it here as well in the app components so here is a tabs page instead of that we are making into the tabs page i'm just deleting off so now the project is ready for lazy loading let's run this project maybe we can get some sorry the main problem with the iron, uh, ionic lazy loading is like whenever you add new components you have to restart the server because some because of the lazy loading it will not uh, binding properly with uh, like you have to every time you have to do that let's see the thing hope everything works good yeah so now this is a lazy loading project so if you see my uh, if you want i can change something in the home.html like lazy loading so let me save this yep so if you see app module we are not including any pages so no need to whenever you create new pages no need to like include anything here and uh, everything like you have to maintain the you have to include for example if you want home page required something like you have to import it here so whenever it comes to the home page it will load only the particular components so let me save everything now and now uh, so i'm going to explain how to create a providers and in a lazy loading and what is the best way because uh, let me create some providers like uh, like you can create a provider like uh, generate provider like api so if you see the provider has been created now and one more like i'm creating like for example user uh, session maintenance so whenever you have a common things you can keep it in this uh, like you know alerts or loaders everything you can keep it and you can include it so like that you can create n number of uh, providers if you see the app dot uh, component or module uh, so the automatically it includes all the providers and it includes here as well but so if you want to use these two things in a home dot module you have to include it everywhere so instead of that like you can best way to maintenance is like you can just create a new file like you know provider providers dot ts and uh, here like you can export everything like using export you can import all your uh, providers like from like you want api so api.ts and the same way and this is api provider it comes automatically and this is like user and this is also user so this way if you if you create some providers all the providers you can include it here like that you can export everything so wherever you want for example i'm just saving this i'm going back to the app component so sorry app module so instead of like writing a number of lines like you can change it to providers and provider and providers sorry and here you can just import like user provider like that like if you want to use these two things like you can directly use it in the home.es like that so no need to write if you create uh, multiple like providers you have to uh, keep it's repeating lines and it's keep increasing your code so that's the one thing and for example like in the lazy loading like the main thing is how you going to use like uh, child components for example you need some buttons like if you see twitter there is a follow follower button that that repeats everywhere because if you open a profile user profile or friend profile or follower profile wherever you see the follow follower button so that button is like same action it is keep repeating it so you no need to repeat the code in everywhere instead of that like you can create a components so basically if you do in a normal way if you create a component you have to include it in the app 
module.ts and you have to import it entire project but like in this like you can create a component like ing component like i'm just creating like small button called follow follow button so now the component folder has been created it comes with a follower uh, follow button and wherever you want like if you see you can use this selector to call this uh, uh, whatever you have in this you will get it so and related to this component you can write all the actions and uh, api connections and all you can write it here so and it comes with like uh, interesting thing called the components.module.ts this is very important for lazy loading but you need to do small uh, modification here uh, let me expand it you have to import that ionic module otherwise it will not support that so from ionic angular and this is ionic module so this one you have to like import it here so now this component is like now it supports the lazy loading now so now wherever you want because whenever you add a new component for example i'm just going to add one more button called uh, some like you know um, okay delete delete button see if you see this it automatically updates with delete button and a follower button component it keep updating this automatically so now so how are you going to use this for example i'm going to use this in a home.ts and uh, uh, contact at ts uh, for example i have two pages i'm going to use it here and here the same component so let's go to the home.ts uh, for example i'm just giving some uh, text like you know um, follow button so this actually it's printing here so first we need to print the text and then we can change things later let me import this in home page and contact page uh, so how are we going to import that component because this is a lazy loading thing so now go to the home.module.ts because this is actually controlling everything so whenever you want to load something because that's the selector i'm going to use this is what the selector so this selector i'm going to use it so go to the module and you, here you have to import the component so basically like we are not importing the specific component but we're importing the components dot module and then this is like components dot module and this components dot module you have to uh, import it so now this has all these uh, uh, things like you know follow button and delete button all these things comes to this page the same way you have to do it for the you know wherever you want contact for example first we'll do this and now go to the home.html now i'm going to print the selector uh, this is what the selector here and you can simply use this as a tag so now uh, let's save this and save everything and make sure sometime you'll get errors and uh, you have to restart it let's see now uh, i change the text yeah see i change the text it's not changing because it's because of the lazy loading in that case you just restart the server uh, yeah see it's some it's taking some time okay now uh, see i'm going to change it like the same thing if i want to use it in the contact like let's go to the con contact at home.ts the same thing i'm going to repeat it that so change it and import that in the imports let's save it and go to the contact and uh, same uh, follow button and the follow button so let's save it and and let's go to the contact and it's not loading here so this way like 
and if you see the console you will understand uh, the lazy loading and it improves your uh, speed as well so let's quickly change something here like uh, instead of this i'm just changing to button and i on button and this is button so let's save it i think it didn't come up uh, yeah you have to keep uh, restart this sometimes the styles will not come so but anyway you can you hope you understand this concept so this way you can create a number of components and you can use it in the different pages so yeah and if you write if you want to write some actions as well like uh, you can write some actions here like let's go to the page like uh, like action so I'm just giving console log so I'm in jail component let's save it and go to this button and just give click and action so let me change this to console mode if I click something yeah and if I click something here yeah and how are you going to communicate with this like so if you want to pass some data in this like go to the home dot uh, uh, HTML like you can if you have any dynamic thing for example this is a normal static one like I'm clicking from this is a home so this is a home page for example and the same way you can pass uh, a number of attributes like if you want uh, like a big a big object like better you can use it as a local host so i'm just giving contact here so how are you going to use this in the so you need to retrieve this from here like if you come here uh, there is actually input string so input and just import that and the name it's a string so this is actually a function so now uh, whatever it comes there it comes to the name here so let me uh, change this value here yeah after many refresh it, it got updated and uh, that's the problem with the lazy loading it's it will not get the changes immediately like you have to keep updating the things like I'm just passing it if you have anything like dynamic you can add it this now it is a static so now what I'm going to do is like I'm going to use this uh, name so so you have to use input and this input string and uh, so this name I'm just printing it here I mean I'm just making console log so whenever I click action like I'm clicking in the home page I'll get that and if I click it on the contact I'll get other message let's see hope we'll get it I made a mistake this this dot name I just directly printing the name so now if you see that it's coming from the home page when I click on this it comes from the contact page that way you can pass the information like uh, you can add uh, a number of components like that like if you have a simple things so this way you can communicate so hope you like this video and thanks thanks a lot